So in my other video, you guys seem to really like uh, the software and the UI implementation to make rocketry just look cooler. And I kind of want to go into detail on what exactly is available because I actually recently uh, published the software on my website and you can download it, it's completely free. You can connect it to your whatever flight computer or, or even your Arduino project and you can add a snippet code into your Arduino file and the software can start reading it from there. And I just wanted to show you what some of the things it can do. I didn't really go into detail. So if you just plug in, in this case, I'm using uh, another flight computer and I'm just gonna open up uh, the software and so we can go through it uh, together. And also before that, for the continuity to even work, I'll have to plug in uh, the battery to the flight computer, so I'll do that. And so now you see a little light show up on this terminal, and that's because there's actually a wire running through the terminal. And I'm also going to turn on the software. So here I have the software opened up here, and I'm going to connect it to the proper baud rate right over here. So I'm going to press uh, 115,200 and my COM8, which is the only one available. And I'll open it and just like last time, it turns off. And that's always a good thing when the flight computer does reset because uh, it realizes that there's a new connection happening. And so when I do uh, launch detect, actually I'm gonna point you towards this side because I already showed all the graphs. So when I hit the launch detection, Okay, there's obviously a few things that happen with the graphs here, but there's some new things that happen in this corner, and that's because I've actually implemented the uh, IMU detection, uh, launch detection, and uh, continuity. So you can actually see that there's continuity. And just like what the flight computer said right here, there is only one, uh, terminal that is true when it comes to continuity. The first one is false. And that actually makes sense. And I can actually prove this, it's not just software integrated, by taking uh, just, you know, little tweezers here and shorting out the first terminal. And you can see that this false actually turns into true. Just like that. I don't know if you see that. Now it's false. I'll show it to you here and I'm gonna short it and then it's not true false and so on and so forth. Um, same thing goes like last time, I didn't show you this first section. So the flight computer has a potentiometer as your apogee delay for your ejection. And as I turn this potentiometer, you see it goes up all the way to 10. I can just turn it off by putting it to zero. So all the way up, 10, and then zero. State is one. Um, there's a few issues with the state. I still have to fix some things, but I just decided to release this first version because I mean, at least the graphs are working. I think that's what a lot of people liked uh, in the first time. Uh, yeah, the, the graphs still work. There's no problems there. It's just some of the things in the corner and uh, nothing to worry about in the, in, the, in the website actually go into detail on how you can integrate this. And actually I talk about how the serial communications work. And I also explain the data packets that you see in the corner. It's not just uh, gibberish, even though it looks like it, there's actually just data with the variables after each kind of numbers. And it'll just monitor each letter as, oh, this is gyro X, this is gyro Y, this is gyro Z. I'm just gonna take all of those values, which we call indexes, which is just the first uh, letter that it sees. So the index X actually points to gyro X and that's gonna be your uh, gyro X value, which is gonna then print it out on the graphs. And that's pretty much it. I thought I would show you that. And once I tilt it, you know, you have your standard glow effect. Um, and that's one of the things I still have to correct is the pyro ejection doesn't actually display it. So that's a future update. So 
thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, please let me know. I'll make sure to comment or reply back. Thanks.